So the, the way that we treat addiction in the West um, hasn't changed over the past 60 years. The, the model is based on the 12 steps, uh, which is a fellowship, and it provides a lot of community support for people, and it's, it's a really wonderful way, but it doesn't have a very high success rate, especially for opiate addiction. Opiate addiction is particularly hard to treat because it has a physical component to it, where people, when they stop using, they get withdrawal, which includes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sleeplessness, anxiety, and they will do anything to make it go away, and that's what perpetuates the addiction. Um, even after a few days of quitting, people experience something called post-acute withdrawal syndrome, which can last for weeks or months. And people don't feel right in this, their skin, they feel anxious, they can't sleep, they're depressed, and it's usually the depression that makes them reach out to drugs and go back to using because they want to feel good again. Uh, Ibogaine is really useful in that it takes away the post-acute withdrawal syndrome. So it helps a person enter sobriety about 90 days into where they would be if they had quit cold turkey. The majority of the people who get addicted to opioid drugs is because they have some underlying trauma. So they have um, you know, sexual violence in their past, they have unresolved childhood issues, or they have a propensity to experience anxiety or depression. So if the first time they try an opioid medication, they feel normal. And that's what draws them into continuing to use these, these drugs. Um, to deal with these complex cases of addiction, you need an addiction interrupter like Ibogaine to get the person clean, but then you need the integration aspects of it. So we have a program we work with which provides recovery coaching, which is a one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, over the course of weeks, months, or even years. And that has proven to be really effective because if you were given a choice between, say, staying one month at, at a very expensive rehab or having two years of one-on-one -on -one coaching with a therapist, you would be much better off with a therapist because they can help you, you know, learn how to self-regulate, uh, how to deal with, you know, difficult emotions and then apply these teachings to your everyday life. So what we do now is that we help patients with the initial detox, which is the Ibogaine, but then we also send them to programs in the U.S. where they can continue their aftercare.